charisma, uniqueness, nerve, talent. Are you ready for the race to begin? <laughs> Grandmother has arrived. Hi, my name is Miss T. I am 16 years old and I am from Massachusetts, USA. I will be bringing just a good time to the competition. I'm here to have fun. I'm here to just do what I can and just really just embrace the experience. Let's get this roast to cook in. granddaughter has arrived hello world my name is aria virus and i'm your new viral sensation i can design i can write lyrics give me a challenge and i'll knock them out hi bb gorgeous mom, you're not my mom you're my grandma <laughs> oh god yeah but i'm here to give you all the love in the world aria virus is my drag granddaughter through my daughter acetaminophen Oh my god, I'm so happy you're here. I am happy to see you too, doll. So, I walk in, and I already see people I know. Oh my goodness. Girl, you know, we got a cute little family photo <sighs> going on over here. Girl, that look, you were making that right in front of me, girl. I'm honestly just so excited to show who I am and really make my mark. All right, let's see who's next to come out. These girls don't know what hit them. Hurry head. Auntie has arrived. Hi everybody, and my name is Faisha Fears. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Ooh. <gasps> Hello, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I first time being in the workroom and I immediately see my family, the house of T, Aria, and Miss T, my mother. I am so excited to be competing with the family. It's giving house of T versus the world. I live. Yes, we got the whole family in this whole, whole literally the whole family. You know we're missing a few. Let's see who the house of T has to eliminate. Oh, real. Oh, this will oh, be. Wow. This will be easy. Cakewalk much? Orange, you glad to see me? She's not an orange. Hi, my name is Yamer Tag. You might remember me from Celery's Drag Race season one. I'm 19 now, it's been a long time, and I'm still from Argentina. Hi! Yeah. Hi, doll! I see some oh. familiar faces. Oh my gosh, girl, let me give you a hug. I haven't seen you 20 times since celery yeah, season. Okay, I see some of the girls, I see some very good looks, and some others are definitely little looks, yeah. Okay. Looks so great. Ooh, so... <laughs> I see we have some pictures here. So these are the bitches we're competing against. Wow. Of course. I do recognize some of them, I want to say. Seeing the full cast, I'm excited. I mean, there's a lot of like diversity and different styles. So I'm really excited to see what each competitor brings to the season. Do you have a tramp stamp? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold up. I'm so gunty. It's past your bedtime. Hi, I am Mixomnis. I am 14 years old and I am from England, if you couldn't tell by the accent. I definitely see myself as a look queen more than anything else, but I do have other talents in things like redstone and PvP and designing and building. Hi! Come on! Okay, Baba Duke, ooky spooky. <laughs> it's giving a flea. <laughs> a flea Not wow. the flea! 
I walk in and I feel stunning. And oh my god, it's almost like this workroom is made for me because it's also stunning. Okay. What's your name, girl? Uh, so I'm Mix Somnus. Spell MX Somnus. Okay. And, yeah. Hey, work. It's giving me the the a monster in Paris. Is that what is the, a monster in Paris? What's it called? The fucking bin- bug. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Hey y'all, you know what's your favorite treat? I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and I am 16 years young. Could you imagine that? And I'm from straight from Canada. Wow, she's wearing pants. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really nervous, but I'm actually really excited to be competing. Uh, I don't do this a lot, so I'm just like, praying that I do good. Come on, shake and go. Wow. Shake and wow. go. That's awesome. I'm also hoping it's not a design challenge first because that would really suck for me. I forgot my entrance line. <laughs> I shit, you know, I actually forgot it. Oops. <laughs> Hi! Oh, no. okay. oh I'm <laughs> I'm Shigo Kanovich, formerly known as Job of the Slut. Oh, oh you. I think yeah. I've heard of you before. That person that I totally know. Yeah. Nobody is perfect. I am nobody. Hi, my name is Rashby Jan, and I am your robbed frontrunner of Sunset's Drag Race Season 2. I am the youngest queen of this season, but I am the oldest queen by heart, and I am representing the UK Huns of this season. I think I know her. Aria, oh. question? <laughs> I know a lot of you. <laughs> I will bring to the competition, you know, I'll bring my suitcases and my clothes. Because I'm not going to come here naked, am I? So what's your drive? What's your name? <laughs> like, what do you do? Um, my name's Raj Pajam. You probably would be know me. Yeah, I'm the one who flopped Sunset Season 2. So maybe, maybe you can point out like which one your look is, Queen? I'm actually this one. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, I get oh, it. Oh, no. It's Mystery Inc. Because her fashion is this one. Hmm. I already said jinkies. Is that a read? Oh, is that a read? Fit those tits in that sweater. Who's thirsty for some tea? Hi, my name is Titi. I'm 18 and I'm from Australia. My drag aesthetic is very much fashion forward. I can get from glamorous to camp, seven bunnies, seven fans, you know. Oh, hi. Hi, y'all. Oh, hi. hi. What's, oh, you what's your name? Oh, my um, hi, I'm TT. Uh, oh. Oh, this oh. really is T versus the world. Re really? This oh. really? It really is. I am a very nervous to compete as I'm probably the person with the least amount of experience amongst this cast. I haven't oh. heard of you. Where are you from? <laughs> Beauty, I'm I from, I'm from us, yeah, mm. Australia. You probably it never heard of cold. it. Got it. Uh, so, pretty um, cold, yeah. T.T., how, how does it feel to be standing next to the mother of the house of tea? Uh, where? I'm, I'm right here. Walking into the workroom, I'm feeling very scared, very nervous, but I know the body feels right, the look feels great, and I'm just ready to compete. I just shoved the new that? Oh, <laughs> That's so Colby. Hello everybody, my name is London Eclipse, but you can just call me London Slag or current reigning queen of Sunset Drag Race Season 2. I am 16 years old, but by the time this is being posted, I'm most likely going to be 17 years old. I am representing the UK, because the bitch is from England. Is that no. who I think it is? Oh, oh, oh my god. Who is that? Oh. 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 Hi. <laughs> I, um, I see my crown on your head. <laughs> no, I'll just send you home again. Don't worry. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's London. 
Yeah, who um, are you? No one knows who you are. Shut up, bitch. So I'm Lived in Eclipse, and the winner of Sunset Drag Race Season 2, I kind of sent Raffi Jam home. You know, the girls, they look <clears throat> good. Honestly, love TT though, her outfit eats. I don't know about the other girls, so one looks like Billie Eilish. But, you know, I'm gonna have to get used to this smell. And I hope I survive. Well, hello, everyone. Oh my, oh my god, oh god. terrible. Oh, oh, oh my god. Now, I want to welcome you to a groundbreaking event that is about to shake the pixelated world of Minecraft like never before. I am thrilled to present to you to the first ever season of Minecraft Drag Race. Yeah. Now, we have gathered here to celebrate the artistry, creativity, and fierceness of you 10 drag queens who will captivate our hearts and minds. Prepare yourself for a journey filled with glitz, glamour, and a whole lot of Minecraft magic. Now, for this season's first mini challenge, we want you to showcase who you are through designing and building a workspace that represents you as not just a drag queen, but as a person. The mini challenge is about showing who you are right off the bat, and I just wanted to have fun and show where I'm from. With that being said, racers, start your engines, and may the best drag queen win! I'm not really a builder myself, so I'm not planning on winning it, but I'll make a cute build for myself to look at. I'm pretty excited for this. I enjoy building, so it's a very me <laughs> mini challenge, I guess. Now up first is Raspberry Jam. This is your tour of Raspberry's workstation. Starting up, this is my lovely desk where I like to beat my face and put makeup on it. It says, you are a winner. You got this. Uh, yeah, and that. Um, up the ladder is a second floor. I've got my special bed to um, sleep because I have a sleeping problem. Uh, and then this is, uh, yeah, it's my really, really fun sword. She go cut a bitch. Hi. So this is my station, so I kind of wanted to like honor my roots of being like an escape the night, like building queen before. So I like wanted to evoke the old timey mansion feel. I have like the huge, the, I have like my cute little armor stands, some of my two favorite garments. In the back I have this long, gorgeous light fixture. If you come up here, follow me up here. We have this lovely foliage all the way up here because I do do weed. And you know, of course we have a double wide entrance because it's the only thing that allows me to fit. Thank you. Aria virus. So I wanted to bring my home to this set of Petra's Drag Race. And you know, bitches from Canada, so I always have to stay cold or I'm gonna sweat all of that grease paint off. I brought the wilderness. I'm a wilderness explorer back home. And I really wanted to just bring my roots to this, literally. MX Somnus. So my build, I don't know. It was like, I like bone blocks. So I made, I built it around this pillar of bone blocks. And then uh, we have bones of my dead ancestors. Yeah. And then <laughs> uh, we have a little mirror because why wouldn't I want to look at this? And then we have an upstairs, which is a sofa made out of wood because that makes sense. Strawberry shortcake. Period. All right, so. So we got this really tiny entrance because, girl, if there was a definition for skinny, it'd be my name. And in the words of Alexis Michelle, oh. eat a burger. You need one. And then we got some cake. It represents me as a person and how big my butt is. And then we have one mirror to make me pretty on the outside because I can't be pretty on the inside. Up here, we have my family watching over me and thinking, what's the disgrace we made? Face your fears. Hi, everybody. Okay, so this is my crib. Uh, the thing that I wanted to do most with this is have as much stuff that I can use throughout the competition. So over here, I've lit my little makeup station. I got my brush ready to paint the face. Um, I've got all of my supplies I need for the entire season stocked up because I'm a fucking hoarder. I have a second uh, workstation that I can use for all of my garments and all of the different things that I'm going to need throughout this. And yeah, everything that I'm going to need throughout this competition is right here. Miss T. Welcome to the home of T. Um, I wanted to go out very laid back because recently I've just been in my happy place. 
Um, back wall is the trans colors because I'm I'm not biologically a woman. I know it's shocking. I don't know how. I know you guys gotta get the century. Um, we have some extra plants up here, some candles, because listen, if you don't have candles for your bubble bath, are you even cleaning yourself? And then I have a little bed because I go to bed at 9 p.m. every night and I have a great sleep schedule. London Eclipse. Hey, so welcome to my crib, first of all. This is my little hangout. So over here, there's obviously my stripper pole. I strip on it by night and sleep by day. Over here, there's some drinks, which me and my gals, you know, we can drink. Okay, up here, here's a pie, it's cute, whatever. And then, you know, it's my cute bed, where I can just lay down and look at the schools of the bitches that I killed. Gamer tag. Hi, welcome to my workstation. I made it up. I made it based up of the Drag Race workstation, so it's really pink. We have a chest for some drag race that I framed up. I think it's really important. A uh, home is where the cunt is. <laughs> yeah, and it's censored. Some aromatic candles, a mannequin for my look. And then you turn over and you have a little plan because I love plans and some more. TT. Okay, <laughs> welcome to my station. Um, I've gone for like a simplistic vibe, you know. I wanted to bring the outside to the inside of this tight little room. Speaking of outside, <laughs> I have a window here to look out on above my station. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? And if you look over here, I have my wardrobe. I haven't unpacked yet, so that's why these mannequins are empty. But it has a built-in flat screen. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. But yeah. Um, I also have these chandeliers above me. I sometimes swing on them. But yeah, that's it. Wow, you all did very well this week. But there was definitely one build that stood out amongst the rest of them. The winner of this week's mini challenge is... Raspberry Jam. Oh, no. I beat you, bitch. I beat you. I beat you. Oh, oh my god. Can you imagine me winning the first mini challenge? I could never. Now, with that being said, before we get on to what you won this week, let's talk about this week's maxi challenge. We want to get to know who you are as a drag queen. Your first maxi challenge will be to bring two looks to the runway your signature drag, something that shows you as a person and demonstrates what you're all about. Your second look will be a speed design challenge based on a potion that Raspberry Jam will assign to you. You will have 20 minutes to create this look and we wanna see if you have what it takes to turn something out in a very short amount of time. With that being said, in this chest next to me are all of the potions. Raspberry Jam, would you like to assign them? Oh, wait, wait, I need something, what do I want? <laughs> So winning the challenge, I get to decide which queen gets which potion. And I was going to be strategical and give it out like, give the bad ones to the bad queens and the good ones to the good queens. Um, but then I started just throwing them out. So the one that I'm going to go for is... Um, Probably harming. I'm just gonna go like that. And like I said in my entrance, wow, it would really suck if a design challenge was first. I would really hope it it's comedy. It's like they heard me. They did. This is wrong. So I stop at London and I have a poison potion in my hand. And Poison is a very good potion to do design in. Uh, you are going to get the... So I'm like, I know London's a, a design queen from Sunset, so why would I give them a good potion if they're a designer? So I, I, um, I hesitate for a bit and then I throw a healing potion at them. Anyway, they need to be healed. Now with that being said, the list reads as follows. Strawberry Shortcake has Resistance. TT has Water Breathing. London Eclipse has Healing. Shigo Cutterbitch has Poison. Raspberry Jam has Harming. Mech Somnus has Jump Boost. Facia Fears has Fire Resistance. Gamer Tag has Weakness. Miss T has Swiftness. And Aria Virus has Strength. 
Now, racers, start your engines and may the best drag queen win. Okay, I'm gonna the game. Into the ground. I'm gonna actually harass you. So Raspberry Jam trying to be slick. She trying to pull up everything or whatever. She trying to set me up for real because she was planning on giving me the poison potion, but all of a sudden she want to switch up and do the health potion and give it to me. Yeah, it's a setup. Welcome to the main stage of Minecraft Drag Race Season 1. This week we have challenged our girls to bring us two sickening looks to the runway. A signature drag look that tells us about them as a person, and a potion design challenge where they were tasked to create a look in just under 20 minutes. With us tonight is my co-host, Prova Lone. Prova, are you ready to see what the girls have for us tonight? I am so excited. I really am excited to see what they bring, but I mean, if those entrances had anything to show what we'll see i'm a little scared oh my god be nice we haven't even seen what they have to bring yet now with that being said racers start your engines and may the best drag queen win category is signature drag aria virus oh wow that's beautiful i love the black and white She looks fantastic. Miss T. Oh damn, okay, blue. Wow, that's sickening. Yeah, she ate that. Gamer tag. Ooh, that's awesome. She in a bikini. Face your fears. Ooh, okay, galaxy. Oh, that's very pretty. MX Somnus. Whoa, what am I looking at? Oh, that's everything. I love that. Raspberry Jam. Wow, that's gorgeous. There's a lot of black and white today. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing. She go cut a bitch. Okay, purple goddess. Damn. I see we have a 64 by 64 queen. London Eclipse. Alien. Wow, that's really pretty. Beautiful. TT. Oh my God. Wow, that is beautiful. Jeez. Oh my God. Strawberry shortcake. <laughs> is she a strawberry? I didn't know strawberries came in yellow. That's very cute. Category is potion design. Aria virus. Oh wow. Yeah, that's very powerful. 
stunning. Miss T. Oh my god, is she a car? Oh, um, not the Taylor Swift car, come on. Oh, Swiftness, I see. Face your fears. Okay, fire. She's definitely matching the runway. Beautiful gowns, definitely. She go cut a bitch. Ooh, that's cool. What potion was she? Cute. London Eclipse. Ooh, that's really pretty. I love those colors. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Wow. Strawberry shortcake. <laughs> Is she a snake? Oh, wow. I can't, I can't tell what's going on. <laughs> Raspberry jam. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. Oh my God. Yeah, she definitely picked a good potion for herself. That's amazing. Gamer tag. Ooh, that's really pretty. Wow, I like those colors and the face. Yeah, she did really well. TT. <gasps> She's a mermaid. Oh my God. <gasps> wow, that's impressive. That's incredible. MX Somnus. Is she a spring? Oh, that's really cool. I love the face shape. That's amazing. Welcome back, ladies. Tonight, you all did really well in both runaways and you made it really hard for us to make any kind of decision. So congratulations for that. When I call your name, please step forward. London Eclipse. MX Somnus. Aria Virus and Game Attack. Ladies, you are all safe. You may untuck in the workroom whilst we critique the other girls. First is Strawberry Shortcake. Now tonight you impressed me and Provo a lot with your signature drag runway. We thought it was really cute and it was definitely a good representation of who you are. Um, the only problem was there was just a bit of a polish that I think could have been applied to it. Um, just a bit more time on things like details and stuff could have gone a really long way. And that transfers a lot to this look as well. I do like your idea a lot. I think it well, it is a bit loose in interpretation to regeneration. I do like that you chose to go out of the box for that. So I'm gonna commend you on that. Have a good job this week. There's just a couple things that we thought maybe could have been polished a bit more. Okay. Next up <laughs> is Miss T. Hello. Okay, so first things first, your signature drag look literally blew us away. Like the doll and the story you were saying about how it connected to you as a child really was just like, it was perfect and it really fit the Miss T brand. And with this design look, as much as I want to hate it, like violently, I really just, I really like it. And so does Prova, like, it's really camp and it's cute and it's a fun way to do the potion and make it funny like swiftness i think is definitely much a hard one to do without just being like some bitch in trainers yeah um so yeah this is really funny and it fits you 
oddly well, and I'm sure fucking Asita's gonna love it as well. Oh, but I yeah. have to do it for the daughter. Next up is Face Your Fears. Hi. Okay. Hello. Your signature drag look was really good. It was really well shaded. And it was like, it was a beautiful dress. It wasn't necessarily something that jumped out as like screaming Face Your Fears to me only because it was just a dress. And from what I've seen of Face Your Fears, I know that you're like a much more conceptual person. Like even with this look, like there's a bit more to it. So um, I definitely, it, it was like an amazing execution, genuinely. I just think that it would have, it could have used a bit more um, flair to it to make it more unique. And with this look, um, I think my main issue with it, Facia, is only that to me, it feels like maybe not the biggest like delve into what fire resistance could be like it's a girl that's on fire like I, I get what you were going with and the way that you explained it and helped me understand it but it just feels a bit um i don't know it feels like there could have been more to it and i understand that there was only 30 minutes i do get that but like i don't know i just would have liked to see something more tt yeah okay we had a little bit of difficulties on the runway but we got there in the end Sorry. First of all, your signature drag look was beautiful. Like the 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 what's it called? The paying homage to your favorite Disney princess was really cute, and it was just really well made and executed. Thank like, you. Mwah. it was just it was just really nice to see. And this design look, the fact that you made this in thirty minutes is insane to me. Let me just say that the detail on the tail is crazy. Like, that's exactly, like, this is, like, insane that you did this in 30 minutes. I really just want to applaud you on that. And also, it fits your potion really well. Okay. Whilst, like, with fascia, conceptually, I guess it's not as complex, but you made up for it in your execution, like, tenfold. It's, like, amazing job, genuinely. Okay, thank you. Now we have oh, oh. Chico. Hey, Beach. Okay. Do we have to? Do we have to? I actually really liked your signature drag look. Genuinely, um, it was really like a beautiful, like purple, like it really, it really, everything felt really connected and well made. Like it was a really solid look. It was only 64 by 64. And especially for a runway that you made before, like you didn't have a time limit on, I think it would have been nice to see you do like 128 with your design look. Ooh. If only. Your, your design challenge look, I think, as like a look on its own, is really cool. Um, however, I am just gonna say, like, even with the story that you told, I do struggle to get poison from it because to a lot of people, that's not something that they're gonna know or recognize. So it really, it doesn't necessarily stand out as much as poison, like as much as I would have like looked like liked. Um, however, it's still a really well-made dress. Like it's shaded well, and again the issue comes with 64 by 64 like it's a really limiting resource and last but not least raspberry jam that's my you team. did a really good job this week i want to start with that you really did do a really good job your first look was not necessarily my favorite but i definitely saw you in it and it was really clean and well made and the shape was unique and this look is one of my favorites for the design challenge runway genuinely like I could immediately tell which potion you are. Instant harming, like that just gives that energy. And also it's just really like, it, it kind of crosses the line between like conceptual and fashion. Like you did a really good job of mixing those two together. Like it just, everything fits really well. And it just really impressive that you did this in the 30 minutes as well. Now, whilst the judges and I settle the final placements, you may untuck backstage. You may leave the stage. Honestly, can I just get something like off my chat? I I thought I should have been high. Okay. I thought I was gonna be high. Honestly, I thought my concept was there. I thought my first outfit ate. Period. I mean, yeah, I think we're all, we all kind of expected to be higher than we are <laughs> right now. I mean, the looks are good, um, but I'm really confused because. Petra liked my look and said a lot of things about it on the runaway and then just called me safe. 
I don't know for everyone else, but I feel like I know one person who's possibly going to be in the bottom. And I think that might be Strawberry. No shade. I didn't think that outfit was like amazing. Do you agree with your you placement? Been, um, I respect the judges very much. I'm just trying to think of what I could have done. I will say, yeah. I do think your outfit, like both your outfits were really good. I honestly, I thought that your signature drag outfit, it was the best of the night. Well, one of the best of the night, considering how good it looked. And I thought yeah. this one here, it a period. I thought you should have been here as well. I, I appreciate that. The thing that gets me, it's not that I'm safe, it's that I wanted critiques. Like, especially for my Man. first look, that was a good one. And like, I'm not getting critiques, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> but as Lux Noir, Lux Noir London said, I think I'm high safe. I can't pinpoint right now, like, who I think is going to be in the top, other than, I think Raspberry's going to be in the top. Yeah. Because that outfit's A, like both of them. But for everyone else in the top, I can't think of one because I feel, actually, I feel like TT might be in the top. Is that not? I don't know. I feel like even though the person who had that green outfit on with like the bold, whatever. Yeah. I feel like even though obviously they were bold, they could possibly be in the top because the front actually looked good. It's either that I'm just like forgetting someone. Yeah, I don't know the girls very well yet, so I don't remember their names. <laughs> <laughs> well, other than that, I just I just think that no shade. I think strawberries in the bottom. Yeah, same. Mm, yeah, probably. So I feel like I feel like there's definitely things that one queen has better than everything else. But designing is definitely not a gig. So, can we talk about the elephant in the room? <laughs> Some of those looks looked a little good to be made in 30 minutes. Who? Hmm. Name names. Wait. Um, yeah, um, I don't remember the name. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I know someone came up to me and saying, oh, I don't think you made this in 30 minutes, but that's um, about it. I think I recognize one of the looks and like someone, like one of the old looks is in like, someone sent it in somewhere and then I recognized it. I didn't want to say anything. Who? Yeah. I'm looking through it. I'm looking, I can't remember who, but I'm looking through it. Oh, also, one thing that I want to address is, you know when we came into like the work room, I felt like Raspberry Jam really get some air time because they kept speaking over like a few people. So basically, um, I think she go and like copied her look from somewhere else because in like the Skins channel, it's like a blue version of it. Well, she could have just like recolored it. I mean, I, I thought that wasn't allowed. Is it like the exact same? Look? Like basically the exact same thing, yeah. Oh. Like the big. Let me go uh, look. I'm trying. It's definitely similar, but like maybe it's just her style. I'm not sure if you guys watch Spencer's Drag Race. I feel like Raspberry has like some sort of like vendetta against, against me, like slightly. I've definitely like seen some resentment. I will say, um, another time that I've competed with raspberry i did place above her and she got very mad and kind of kept that residually i have mad respect for her but i feel like you and her that storyline really cuts deep it kind of irritates me that Ooh. hello it's over. lady it's over, it's over. It's over. i need oh, a drink oh. i need yeah. a drink Oh my gosh. So what happened? <laughs> what did hey they guys, say? Steven. Here at Gamertag, scooch over. Let me, let me explain, sit next explain. to mother. So I have a question. Okay. I have a question for you guys. Who's the top and the bottom? Well... <laughs> what the hell? I, think, well. I think the bottom is obvious. It's me, Shigo, and Raspberry. Yeah. Yeah. Raspberry? Or, what? Not Raspberry. <laughs> Strawberry. Strawberry. Which means me, CT, and Raz are the tops this week. Oh, I was actually very surprised. I thought I was in the bottom for sure. <laughs> We're not shocked. I thought it have been high. Which one? Over who? Been... London, question. Well, I think I should have been high because I felt like my concept was good. I felt like my outfit was good. So who do you think you should have been over? They were the Taylor Swift bitch. Oh! So me well, I disagree. The the Taylor Swift as a car is just listen. A, 
It, you can just say that you don't understand camp. You can say that. No, no I'm, girl, it's I'm ugly. I'm sorry. I love the camp <laughs> element to it, but mm, girl, thank you, Gam. I'll <laughs> listen yeah. to Gam. Okay. I think me or Aura, whatever the fuck your name is. I feel like we should have been over you. Okay. Like one of us should have been over you. If I were to be someone else in the question? top this week, it should have been Aria. I disagree that London should have been. Uh, yeah. Me personally, I think. Well, personally, I didn't fucking see myself in the top, so being there was funny. Um, I think that, realistically, the top that I saw was Braz, TT, and Aria. Everyone pulled together quite a good look. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally. Except for Serena. No, but for real. Yeah. I'll say it. Uh, I, I honestly think some of these looks were partially pre-made. And I understand that like we could we could use bases, but like girl, some of these looks are clearly not done in thirty minutes. And which, outfits. which skins do you think weren't done in the thirty? I'm not gonna say names. I, think I it's genuinely like, don't know anyone's name, so this actually really helped me. <laughs> oh, five minutes, guys, go go learn the oh. learn the lip syncs. <laughs> I mean, if I really would have stolen or reused a look, I wouldn't have walked out bald, full D. <laughs> Real. So who do you guys think we're- who- oh, who do you guys think's in the bottom? Oh, me 100%. I think it's Shigo, and then between me okay. and Strawberry. I think Strawberry is the most obvious bottom. Yeah, I thought it was Strawberry as well. I think my concept worked, like, it's- I think it's going to come down to the fact that the two bottoms, being Shigo and Strawberry, their looks are nice, but the concept doesn't read as what they were supposed to make. So honestly, right. the bottom, I think it's in it's just wrong, because mine is on theme, it's what I was tasked with making, and it's not the best look I've ever made, but I made it in 30 minutes, and it's a good concept. Can you repeat me your concept? Sorry, I didn't hear. My concept? Ain't that. Yeah. Mine was fire resistance, so. Oh yeah, I get oh. it. Oh, <laughs> that munch, munch, crunch, crunch. All right, let's go to the main stage. Okay. Welcome back, ladies. Now, when I call your name, please step forward. Raspberry Jam. Good job this week. You are safe. You may step to the back of the stage. Thank you. Miss T. Me. Another really good job this week. You also are safe. Precise. Oh wait, send me off, bitch. Send me off. Go away. Okay. Fuck <laughs> off. Oh my god. Okay. T T. You did a phenomenal job this week, and you should be very proud of yourself. And with that being said, congratulations, you are the winner of this week's challenge. <gasps> oh my god! Yes, congratulations! I am really gagged. I didn't really think I was gonna win. I was basically aiming for safe, but knowing that I won, I'm, I'm just really happy. I'm so happy. Now, before you, you step back to before you step to the back of the stage, there's something I need to tell everyone. As the winner of this week's challenge, you do get a prize. <gasps> Next Ooh. week, you are immune from elimination, <gasps> and every single oh. maxi challenge winner will be immune the week after. And with that being oh. said, you may step to the back of the stage. Thank you very much. Look, are you a? Okay, <laughs> ladies, you represent the bottom three of the week. With that being said, Shiga, oh my God. you are safe. Don't you play with me right now, please. Stage. Okay, don't play and with me right now. Unfortunately, that does mean face your fears and strawberry shortcake. I'm sorry, my dears, but you are up for elimination. We may now proceed to the build-off area, if you guys would like to all leave the stage. Shit, 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 shit. 
What did I say when I introduced myself? I don't want to go home first. Well, now look, I'm in the bottom. Face your fears and strawberry shortcake. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. Prior to tonight, you were asked to prepare a build to the theme of fantasy. Good luck, and don't fuck it up. You have 20 minutes. I don't think my design look was as good as some of the other girls, and if I have to build for my life tonight, that's how it's gonna have to be. Face your fears. Strawberry shortcake. Ladies, I have made my decision. Face your fears. Shantae, you stay. Thank you so you may, much. You may join the other girls. Strawberry shortcake. Whilst your time with us was short, it was definitely sweet. Now, sachet away. Guys, I'm the Korean Pork Chop Burger on the first period.